In today's video, we're going to help you prevent and treat kidney disease by revealing 10 common restaurant foods you probably didn't realize are terrible for the kidneys. According to the National Institute on Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, or NIDDK, roughly more than 1 in 7 adults, or approximately 37 million American adults, are suffering from kidney disease. Many of these 37 million people could still have healthy kidneys if only they avoided many of the foods we're going to discuss today. For Americans, the leading risk factor Factors for developing kidney disease are high blood pressure and diabetes. Besides these factors, there are certain other risk factors associated with kidney disease. Certain restaurant dishes are affecting our kidney health badly. These dishes contain a high quantity of sodium, phosphorus, potassium, oxalates, artificial sweeteners, additives, saturated fats, and advanced glycation end products, which are formed during high heat processing. It's critical to lower these factors in your diet to live a happier and longer life. Lowering these nutrients and additives will keep the kidneys clean and functioning at a high level. Don't forget that moderation is the key, as some of these foods can still be enjoyed in small amounts or on a rare occasion. Let's take a look at 10 restaurant orders that are killing our kidneys and you should avoid if you're someone who's suffering from kidney disease. Before that, let's talk about kidneys, their function, and why they play such an important role in keeping us healthy and making us feel our best. The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs located below your ribs on each side of the spine. Each nephron consists of a glomerulus and a tubule attached to it. When blood enters the glomerulus, it's filtered, and the remaining fluid passes through the tubule. While passing through the tubules, certain chemicals and water are added or removed according to the body's needs, and then the final product, the urine, is excreted. The primary functions of the kidneys are as follows. Filter blood, remove waste products from your body, remove drugs from your body, regulate blood pressure, maintain body fluids, electrolytes, and acid-base balance, and control the production of red blood cells via the release of erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. It's important to note that our kidneys have only a limited ability to process excess sodium and potassium levels in our body. Normally, our kidneys remove excess potassium and sodium, which leave our body through urine. But if you have too many of these minerals in your body, your kidneys may not be able to remove all of them. High sodium in the diet causes constriction of blood vessels and fluid retention, leading to high blood pressure. High blood pressure can damage kidney blood vessels and reduce kidney function over time. High potassium diets can lead to hyperkalemia, which can cause muscle weakness, fatigue, and heart arrhythmias and put a strain on kidney functions, ultimately leading to kidney failure. The alarming thing is that our restaurants are serving certain dishes that are high in sodium, potassium, phosphorus, advanced glycation end products, saturated fats, artificial sweeteners, and additives that have harmful effects on kidney health. All of these unwanted nutrients can harm your kidneys, so be careful what you're eating if you have kidney disease or want to avoid it. Following are five early warning signs of kidney disease. Puffiness around the eyes, foamy urine, burning sensation after urination, flank pain, and fatigue and loss of appetite. Make sure to let a doctor know if you're experiencing any of these signs. Let's have a look at 10 restaurant orders that are killing your kidneys and that you should avoid. Number 1. Dark Colored Drinks Dark colored drinks are usually considered bad for your health, but there are a few benefits to these drinks if we take them in moderation. These drinks contain sugar and caffeine, which helps to give instant energy, relieve stress, and reduce bloating and dehydration. On the other hand, excess amounts of these beverages harm your kidney health. These beverages, such as cola, iced tea, coffee, and fruit juices, contain a high quantity of oxalate, the leading cause of kidney stones, phosphoric acid, the underlying cause of inflammation in the kidney. Artificial sweeteners and additives can cause dehydration and electrolyte imbalance and advanced glycation end products, which lead to electrolyte imbalance and increased blood pressure and kidney workload. Healthcare experts say that if you're suffering from kidney disease or at risk of developing it, consume these drinks in moderate amounts and better balance them with plenty of water so that they don't compromise your kidney functions. Choose clear juices such as cranberry juice or lemonade instead. Number 2. Creamy Tomato Pasta this dish has both positive and negative impacts on kidney functions. Tomatoes contain antioxidants and certain anti-inflammatory products that help to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, making them a good choice for health. Eating multiple tomatoes in a day is generally safe for most people. It is a highly nutritious fruit that can be enjoyed as part of a balanced diet. On the other hand, the consumption of excess amounts of tomatoes is usually prohibited for people suffering from kidney disease or at risk of developing it. Doctors recommend that a patient with kidney disease eat 50 to 100 grams of raw tomatoes daily. Nutritionists usually recommend making your tomato sauces using the prescribed amount of fresh tomatoes and herbs. Cream sauces are high in sodium, potassium, phosphorus, saturated fats, and calories, which makes them a bad choice for your kidneys. You can still enjoy these flavors with low-fat, dairy-free alternatives. For a low-fat alternative, you can mix milk with cornstarch to make a sauce similar to cream sauce. Plus, coconut cream is usually a low-fat and dairy-free alternative to other heavy creams. Number 3. Restaurant Prepared Soups Soup is generally considered a healthy diet, 
It improves the immune system, is full of vitamins and minerals, boosts digestion, and is an affordable, healthy food. But only some of the soups are as healthy as you would think. Restaurant-prepared soups are usually rich in sodium, potassium, phosphorus, calories, and saturated fats. An excess of these minerals compromises kidney function. Moreover, some soups may also contain preservatives, artificial thickeners, and additives that can be toxic to your kidneys. To avoid such effects, go for vegetable-based or clear soups, such as broth. Avoid creamy soups. Doctors recommend limiting portion sizes to avoid excess sodium and potassium. Home-based soups made with kidney-friendly ingredients, such as vegetables, are a better choice. Number 4. Fast Food Fast foods are generally not considered a healthy option for any diet. Fast foods are usually rich sources of sodium, potassium, and phosphorus, which healthcare experts do not recommend for a person with kidney disease. But drive through convenience, tasty flavors, and happy meals are sometimes hard to resist. To limit your intake of high sodium and potassium, ask for no bacon, sausages, or cheese. Always remember to order hamburgers with no salt, pickles, or seasoning. Instead of bacon, you can use mushrooms, lettuce, or onions. Many restaurants add healthier, organic ingredients to their menus. Try giving them a try. Number 5. Avocados No doubt, avocados are usually a healthy addition to the diet, as they contain about 20 different vitamins and minerals. Avocados help to reduce inflammation and bad cholesterol, or LDL. But when it comes to kidney disease, avocados are usually a bad choice. Avocados are a rich source of potassium. One avocado contains approximately 620 to 680 milligrams of potassium. If a dietitian or doctor recommends lowering your potassium intake, consider avoiding avocados. Still, if you can't satisfy your cravings, reduce the portion size to a fourth of an avocado. This strategy will enable you to limit your potassium intake. Number 6. Potatoes Despite being a highly nutritious food, potatoes are generally not considered safe for kidney disease as they're a rich source of potassium. The National Kidney Foundation classifies potatoes as a high potassium food. Potatoes usually contain 200 grams of potassium, and doctors recommend a limited intake of potatoes. In 2020, research was published in the Journal of Renal Nutrition. This research aimed to investigate the following. Is it possible to include potatoes in the diet of patients with chronic kidney disease? Analyze the effect of culinary methods, soaking, normal cooking, and frying on the reduction of potassium content in potatoes. They found out that potato soaking is ineffective in reducing potassium levels, normal cooking achieves an insufficient reduction of potassium, and soaking the potatoes after normal cooking is found to remove up to 70% of potassium. This newly proposed method allows kidney patients to incorporate low-potassium potatoes into their renal dietary pattern. In short, you can enjoy potatoes in your diet if you have kidney disease by soaking the potatoes after normal cooking. Number 7. Dairy Products Growing up, many of us were taught to believe dairy products were full of nutrients and always a good option for our health. No doubt they are nutritious, since they're rich sources of vitamins, minerals, protein, phosphorus, and potassium. For instance, one cup of milk equals 200 milligrams of phosphorus, 320 milligrams of potassium, and 8 grams of protein. However, in kidney patients, the consumption of dairy products can be dangerous for bone health. As we all know, the main role of the kidney is to remove waste from the body. When kidney functions are disturbed, the kidneys may be unable to remove phosphorus from the blood, which ultimately builds up in the body. This excess phosphorus removes calcium from bones, which makes the bones brittle, broken, and weak. The calcium common in dairy products may not be enough to fix this problem if you're suffering from compromised kidneys. If you're now looking for an alternative to cow's milk for renal patients, go for almond milk, soy milk, or rice milk. Number 8. Fried Fish and Chips Experts say to limit your protein intake if you're in the later stages of kidney disease. Fish is a superfood, as it is a rich source of vitamins, proteins, and minerals. Some fish, such as salmon, are a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are good for your overall health. If you're considering a kidney-friendly diet, you can eat fresh fish. Avoid raw fish and shellfish. Highly processed, fried, dried, and frozen fish usually contain high amounts of salt and phosphorus, making them bad for your kidney health. Number 9. Processed Meat Processed meat is usually considered a major risk factor for chronic disease. Processed meats such as bacon, sausages, or hot dogs can be a delicious treat for your taste buds, but they can also spell disaster for your kidneys. Research was conducted on middle-aged adults to see the link between processed meat and kidney functions. 9,768 people aged 50 and older participated in the study. They found out that higher processed meat, seafood, and fish consumption is directly related to lower kidney functions. Additionally, a 2022 study was published in the NKF Journal of Kidney Disease that gave some additional information. According to the study, high processed meat is associated with a 24% increased risk of chronic kidney disease. If you're someone who loves to eat meat, make sure you choose healthier options like turkey or chicken if you're worried about kidney disease. Number 10. Certain Desserts No restaurant order is complete without dessert. But if you're suffering from kidney disease or even at risk of developing it, be mindful about the choice of the right dessert. Dairy-based desserts or those made with chocolate, bananas, and nuts. These ingredients contain high quantities of potassium and phosphorus, which 
which make them a bad choice for a renal diet. What can we do to satisfy our craving? Here are some bakery items that are kidney friendly. Peach pie, coffee cake, vanilla wafers, carrot walnut cookies, yeast bread, apple muffins, and blueberry muffins. If we talk about frozen desserts, desserts based on water such as ice pops, shaved ice, etc., are usually low in fat, phosphorus, and potassium, but high in added sugars. Frozen desserts made of artificial sweeteners instead of sugar can be used. Our foods play an important role in keeping our minds and bodies healthy. When it comes to people with kidney disease, our choice of foods becomes even more important. From lemons to olive oil, the foods we put in our bodies will greatly impact how we feel, move, and live our lives. Be careful to choose the foods that will help you live the longest and highest quality life possible. But keep in mind that these foods cannot take the place of medical care. Before making any dietary changes, speak with your doctor if you have any kidney problems. If you're someone who values their health and is on the path to improving as many health areas as possible, watch our video on the best fruits for kidney health, or maybe our video on how to fix skin issues using castor oil. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video on natural and simple ways to improve your health. Remember to stay healthy and stay based.